Thank you, darkness. Um, so, these, these? What the fuck are these, Zeos? Why are they upside down? Well, because I've been using them for like five days. Um, De Kef's. They're called the C1. And someone linked me to them and was like, hey, you should buy these, they're $100 a pair. And I never heard of them. Hell, I didn't even hear, I've never heard in my life a non-coaxial calf. That's their thing. There are Q100s on my wall, right? Coaxial, those big ones, R's, R300s, and coaxial with an extra driver. So these are the first ones that I have, just a tweeter and a woofer. And they were small, and I'm like, all right, look, they're a small four inch, they're a hundred bucks. I'll just randomly pick them up. I'm Zeos, that's what I do, I write this shit off. But here's the problem now. So I get them, and I think I had them on, where I, I break every speaker in 10, 12 hours, you know, use it for two days. Then I usually take it off, and then I put whatever speaker I've had previously on, and I finish, and, and I just keep going back to these. And then I knew, I knew they were special, not just from that wallpaper, but yesterday, so the last two days, I've been watching the new Watchmen show on HBO and uh, Mr. Robot season four, the final season's out. And two days in a row, projection screen down, could very easily just unplug this speaker and plug it into the ohm, my $1,400 piece, ohm wall Shomni directionals. Eh. Good enough. You know what kind of praise that is from me? To have the increase of sound quality from an Ohm Walsh omnidirectional with 1500 watts, you know, Brooklyn made, to be like, eh, this $100 pair of calf is good enough for that. A and it is, that's the scary shit. It is good enough. Real quick, it's, it's got a cover. Here's, here's your cover. My lights are not pointing the way I usually do them for, uh, Reviews, you'll have to excuse the darkness. And I'd probably leave these covers on because if you look real careful, like, oh, is that pretty? Not really, the finish around these tweeters is like, it looked like it had, it looks worn, it looks like someone sanded it. Same thing around the drivers, you see it looks like, like it looks like I should be able to rub that off and it's not a thing. So they're not incredibly pretty. I do like the look of them. Shiny black, mm, I don't like shiny black, but I could live with it. They're the same exact size as a Mica MB42, a little bit deeper. There's MB42X, there's these. They're probably about an inch deeper. Front ported, real deep. And I mean real deep, you just saw it, but let me show you it again. Look at that waveguide. For the tweeter, it's got that, um, what is that, eight pieces, seven? It's got that seven blades in front of the tweeter which is exactly what they do in all their tweeters, including the coaxial ones. And then we've got this super fucking deep uh, wave got around the woofer, which does not have a very thick, impressive looking surround sound. So a surround, a surround sound. So I'm like, all right, it's got a port though, the size of like this peanut butter and jelly sandwich, hanger on the back. So you can hang it on the wall and it's got decent binding posts, claims it's eight ohms, 10 to hundred Watts. Like, all right, all right. The only thing this speaker doesn't do is low end. And I mean low, low end, like it does enough to, to, to keep itself afloat. And like vocals. It's gonna skip through some stuff now. Whoa. I just updated the firmware on my Fleerk and it might have made that weird. Hold on, I'm gonna test something. All right. All right, yeah, there's definitely a weird volume. If I double tap, it like flies now. Single presses only. I, 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 tubers. 
Why didn't I hear about this before, Troopers? Were they hiding it from me? I love my community. I love you guys. As soon as something, as soon as someone farts about a new product, I hear about it. What bothers me is when these probably existed for a decent amount of time, and someone who watches my videos must have known that these existed, and they didn't tell me. They didn't send an email, they didn't message me on Reddit, although I would never see your messages on Reddit, that's a thing, because I haven't been to Reddit in like two years. I got like 2,000 messages in my inbox. I just couldn't handle that, and emails, and YouTube comments, and Patreon messages, and emails from companies, it's, ooh, I'm one man, and occasionally a Canadian. But um, I would have loved to be able to tell you to buy these. And I have tabs open, here, where there's, remote control, and before you ask, on this channel, if you look up Hi-Fi, no, HTPC, Ultimate HTPC control thing, you'll find the video on this, and I would go back and I would edit it, because this doesn't have lights, and at night when the projector's on and it's dark, I had to put like little pieces of foam so I knew where the home keys were and backspace, because it's all very flat. And that's from Adele, that's a Rapu keyboard. But let me bring this up, Newegg out of stock. Claims 65 to 40,000 hertz. Claims 87 decibels and 8 watts. So, okay. Out of stock on Newegg. Uh, eBay. Here's a set. Pre-owned. $85. That's not bad. Here's another set. Pre-owned. $168. But my calculations, that's twice as much as the other set that's pre-owned. Hmm. What about Amazon? Oh, those are... Apparently, Echo Frames is going to be a thing. You're going to be able to talk to your glasses, and your glasses are going to not want the fuck you're saying all day. Can't wait. Can't fucking wait. Um, especially when people just start giving it the word. Here's what Amazon has to say. They only ever had eight customer reviews. Only ever. Since the dawn of the product, which had to be years ago. Those are the used prices. And I don't know what to think about that. I'm assuming that's just bullshit. Because $320 for a used set of four inch? I got these for a hundred bucks. I think I got them from like Calf Direct or one of those sites. Like it was, it wasn't like some weird lost site in Canada that fucking some server still running out. It was like, oh, Calf Direct. I absolutely trust them. Like I'll just pay for the speakers, hundred bucks. Let's see what they got. Maybe they'll still be around. They're not. Um, I, I gave a quick check before I started filming this. Before I release this to my patrons and release it publicly, I will sit down and deep dive the internet and try to find these somewhere. Because these are hilariously good. Are they as good as the RB42s? Yeah. I think they come real fucking close. I can come real fucking close. Everything but the low end. Nothing beats the RB42s in their low end. But that tweeter and the way this projects sound, this is fucking up there. This is absolutely, if they're brand new for 300 a pair, that would make sense. Then the RB42s maintain their title of the best fucking speaker of all time. And if you want to find something equally good, you got to buy like the, what are the Yamo C91 Concert Series, which is $400, or these, which are $300. It, that would make sense. Because these are fucking good. I was very loud. It was very loud. You know what weirds me out? And the reason I left them on for Watchmen and a bunch of anime and Mr. Robot is I never worried about blowing them up either. Now, when I'm watching legit movies, I include the two Infinity Subwoofers. My mini DSP just clicks them on. And then this only gets 50 hertz and above, so they don't explode. And those get 50 hertz and below, roughly. So, when you take out the bass out of the equation, so like a surround sound, where you could just tell the receiver, just send everything that's really low to the big monster subwoofer, these get loud. Right now, they're on full range. They're playing, this is it. The only thing happening in the room is this. If they blow up, they blow up. <laughs> I saw these fools trying to get around, trying to let me down and all that. <laughs> but I got an easy way to let them drown with these guns. Of and the thing is, I'm playing them pretty loud now. I'm going to keep talking at like a normal Zeo's tone. I'm going to unpause this. I should shoot them like Al Capone. 
Now they're not exploding, they're not taken into the zone to blow. There's a decent amount of movement in that driver. And because the port is in the front and so big, like I don't hear any distortion in the base. I'm sure I could crash the drivers. I have 1500 watts of channel. I could crash any driver I want. But I'm not worried about these. I'm tempted. I'm very tempted. And I thought about this right before I started the review. Because they're so pretty and black and would probably fit in a little better, what if I change out my rear channels from these coaxials? Because one of the reasons I like these for rear channels is they were cheap. They were $60 for a pair. They're coaxial, so they're smaller. They're sealed so I could push them louder and I don't have to worry about them blowing up. But as long as you pull the base out with the receiver, I could put these there. They'd be just as loud. They'd have a better tweeter, even though that's a very intense tweeter and it does a great job washing the wall. They'd have a better tweeter in them and be able to produce a little bit of low end, which might help a little bit with like the presence of sound. So I'm like, ah, ah, and the front ported, so you can lay them literally on the floor if you wanted to. That's a top trick in case you haven't watched any of my other videos. Welcome to Z Reviews. I do anime wallpapers and anime posters and speakers and hi-fi fans that can run basically silently. And if you ever have rear channel problems, like, oh, I can't figure out where to put my rear channels, see us? The floor, and I'm not fucking joking, take a speaker like this that's front ported and small and put it straight down on the wire on the floor and shove it against the wall sideways so that the drivers are the closest they can be. And it will just wash the whole wall with sound and then you'll reflect off the ceiling. As long as you have like a square-ish room and isn't, like I have a massive opening, but at least I have a wall that's roughly the equidistant here. And that's how I would do it. And these might be the most perfect speakers for that ever. Oh, you busted, bro. You busted. Um, they work on a desk too. They're calf good. On a, they're calf good. I wasn't expecting a hundred dollars speakers from calf to perform any better than say Micah's. Micah RB forty twos, like not RB forty twos, MB forty twos. They're just gonna be whatever. Cause I never heard of them. And you ever heard of them? Have you ever heard of them? I never heard of them. Chewbacca's never fucking heard of them. She's just done. Look at her in there. She's like fuck off, everybody. It's bath time for tubers. I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm upset that I didn't know about these when they were still a thing. I wonder if this would have changed like my whole perspective of, of cheap speakers. Cause it would have been like, this would have been a benchmark speak. Two years ago, I ain't never heard anything this small that sounded this good. And here we are, 2019, end of October. Okay, so you don't know when this happens. They're doing the, the it's uh, Halloween parades now. My word, uh, Donald Duck. Um, I, I, this is it. This is, I can't, I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna go on and on and on. I'll probably end up keeping these for a hundred dollars. They're so small. Maybe one day I make a, a couple boom boxes like for charity. I have these speakers. I've got those TIAC coaxial speakers with like the four inch that looked real cheap, but sounded fucking good, had low end. These, with that port, I'm not worried. They don't cr shake the room like the RB42s do. They're not tuned like that, but they're tuned for fucking just. I'll try not to blow them up. And we're getting loud. Wait, I see a thing coming. I can predict the future of music. Not the best song ever. Let's see. Down. Whoa, too much. Can't. I've heard way worse speakers than this for way more money. Now a marching band is coming, so I'm gonna have to end this review soon, like right now. So let me start my spiel. These are great, I'll try to link them. Download that wallpaper in the description. That wallpaper and many like it are available for $2 and higher patrons. My $5 patrons end up in the yard sale and I fucking would love to sell these to you because I'd probably get a $150 bid on them. I'd probably make money. 
but they're too useful at, at this size and this being this good. So that will be happening. Other things do up on the yard sale. Uh, you also get to see these reviews about a week early. The $10 Patreon tier, although that girl had a Mega Mean hat, the $10 Patreon, uh, Patreon hat, yeah, $10 Patreon level lets you join a private uh, Telegram chat. Wow, that drum is fucking me up. Let you join a $10 private Telegram chat. Morning tubers. That you can talk to me or anybody else, ask me questions directly. I do answer questions on Patreon for two and five dollar patrons, and but I answer them real fast and directly, and you get to ask other people when you're in the $10 chat. So that's basically it. Hi-Fi guides. Um, I would put these on the Hi-Fi guides search queue, but they don't exist. So you can go to the forums and see if anyone's got a for sale thing. I am gonna try to integrate AV Exchange somehow because uh, I created AV Exchange and no one seems to know that. But if you're on Reddit, AV Exchange where everyone trades and buys and sells things, that was my baby. And it's been mildly abandoned, but it's it still runs on its own. It's just a perpetual motion machine. So I'm gonna see if I can get that integrated. Maybe you can find a pair of these because they're worth looking into if you love the look, if you love the Kef name, and if you have at $250, it'd still be a fucking think about buy. Although I think you could do... Uh, 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 Alright, whatever. Sound demo in the description. Um, if you're a patron of mine and you're seeing it, may not have the sound demo immediately. I usually do the sound demos after I publish it. So we'll see. Right? Right? You gonna yawn for everybody? You a yawner? We going now. Bye bye. No yawns for you. <laughs>